In this tutorial, you will learn how to let FL Studio be controlled by other Rewire compatible applications. Rewire is a technology created by Propellerhead software, which enables various software instruments and sequencers to connect to each other and share common audio and transport functionality with sample accuracy. FL Studio supports both client and host modes of Rewire operation. In host mode, FL Studio can host other applications such as Propellerhead's Rebirth or Reason. And in client mode, FL Studio can be hosted by a Rewire-enabled host application. In this video, we'll step through using FL Studio as a client in Cubase SX. First of all, you should make sure that the FL Studio Rewire device is registered on your system. Registering ensures that the host application, in this case Cubase SX, will detect the device at startup and launch FL Studio as a Rewire client. You can register the FL Studio Rewire device by launching the Install Plugin version shortcut from the Start menu. You'll be prompted to install the VSTi and DXi plugins first. Just click Cancel, then No, as we don't wish to do that at this time. However, do click Yes to register FL Studio as a Rewire client. Once you ensure that the FL Studio Rewire device is installed on your system, the next stage is to launch the host application, in this case Cubase SX. Cubase automatically activates any Rewire devices registered with your system. So the FL Studio Rewire device is automatically loaded as a sub-process of Cubase SX when it starts up. Cubase requires that at least one of the rewire channels is activated in order to hear the rewire output. So in the Cubase window, open the Devices menu and select FL Studio. You'll see the configuration for the FL Studio rewire device. This window allows you to select which audio channels are active for the device. And by default, all channels are inactive. Enable the first audio channel pair in order to hear the whole FL Studio mix. Now that we have done this, we can launch the FL Studio panel. Do this from the standard FL Studio shortcut in the Start menu. The Rewire device panel will be displayed. Click in the FL Studio logo enables you to toggle the visibility of FL Studio within the host. Okay, now FL Studio is configured properly to work as a Rewire client inside Cubase SX. To test the setup, we're going to load an existing project into FL Studio. Once the project is loaded, we'll then toggle back to Cubase and hit the play button. Okay, that's about it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you now have a good feel for using FL Studio as a rewire client. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention and have fun with FL Studio.